Hey everyone, welcome back to Quasar's Customs. I'm Hearst Quasar. We're playing a little Car Mechanic Simulator 2018, doing a Fast and Furious uh, series. So today we are going to be doing the F bomb, but a quick update on our skyline. Uh, I left off the last time trying to figure out where our piece was, and actually what it is, it's the gear shift knob in there. Yeah, that's what I couldn't find. So I replaced that with 100 percent and it is awesomely good to go um, it's 96 percent because I didn't put a license plate on the front and don't care to either to be quite honest because I think I'm gonna go into the editor and remove it from this car because it just looks awful on the front of this car all right well, today we're gonna get into the f-bomb now I have been looking over the f-bomb uh, online and um, these wheels are wrong you know I totally thought the wheels on this car were like a uh, like a five spoke wheel all the way around and I was totally wrong because it's actually a solid wheel like a rim on the back and a five spoke uh, yeah five spoke on the front so that's what we're gonna do with this one um, yeah, I totally didn't know that. I was that was a five five spoke wheel all the way around on this thing. So that's good to know. This is a mod by Fully Sick. This is a frame off type restoration type car. You can get um, everything comes apart on this thing, and you basically are left with hardly anything. Um, you find these things in the junkyards missing major pieces and wondering why is it even there it's quite hysterical if you see them in a the junkyard and as you can tell this is where I picked this one up at I've actually during the the course of looking for all of my Fast and Furious cars I think I've been through three of these um, the first one had 280,000 miles on it the second one had um, I think 186, 189, I'm not quite sure. And then I was able to pick this one up, which is less than 150,000 miles on it, which is what I really wanted. Um, and it took me forever to find this thing. Uh, once I found it, I found um, the other two fairly, fairly soon afterwards. So, I was kind of happy about that. Oh, a lot is getting destroyed this time around. It's not like the Skyline days where everything came off the auction block. It was fairly decent. Just had to take a wire brush to it and everything was good to go. No. Okay, so let's see here. These wheels are a 16. So, a 285.60. So, what I'm going to need is um I'm either gonna go with the basic wheel there or I think I might go with the Jeep wheel here. I may go with the Jeep wheel. Yeah, I'm gonna get two of those and I'm gonna paint them up a flat black because that's what we need um yeah um no not chrome I think it's a matte black so we get a couple of these painted in flat black and we'll be good <clears throat> All right, so oh, I was gonna say, where'd the car go? Whew, I'm seeing things. All right, and these were oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What were these two eighty-five sixties? So I'm gonna keep the same size tire on them. Um. I think I'm gonna go with a. Uh, 
Should I go with a slick on the back? Yeah, why not? So I'll go with a 285 60. Let's mount them up. Man, that thing looks huge. Um, hang on. What kind of tires does he have on that? What kind of tires are on the F bomb? Does anybody know? Um, let me see. I truly think there are slicks on the back of it. So I think I'm going to stick with the slicks. Whew. I think they look huge though. <clears throat> Alright, time to get some parts. We need to throw down some parts here. Um, I am sure I'm going to need more than just... Eh. What am I doing? Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> oh my, oh my. Holy crap, nothing got repaired. All right, so, a couple of those, one of those. Poof. Okay, I've got my, my tires I need. I hate to look to see what I have for my suspension. Okay, so those are going away. Um, let's make sure. 285, 60, R16. Yep, same size as it's on there. Um, so we're going to stick with that. Oh dear. We have a mess here. Oh. Um, Alright. We have a lot to buy. Okay, so we need one of those. Um, thought we need two of those. We definitely need a couple of the. Uh, I want to say they were C steering axles. Oh dear. I, I am. It's kind of threw me off seeing all the pieces. Okay, so we're in. Got all that. Sees uh, just a regular rubber bushing, it looks like. Regular rubber bushing, one spring cap. Um. Okay, so two rubber bushings. Uh, spring cap. Shock absorber bees. Oh, I needed. What else did I need? Oh, I needed those and the springs. Cap. Oh, the control arm. That's what I needed. Needed the control arm. Where's that? Okay, I need a control arm. A couple of caps, a couple of springs. We should be golden. Oh fuel tank and always as always gotta have the high volume fuel pump as I'd call it so as I'm building this I'm sure Everyone is asking, wait a minute, Hurst, wait a minute. You know, there was a, there was a charger in this movie, right? Yes, I am fully aware there was a charger in this movie. Um, 
chose not to build it in this sequence because I will be building another one in the next sequence. So, just as a little surprise, the next sequence will be the cars from the uh, chase and pursuit and getting Dom out of prison. So, the story on this car is, is Brian O'Connor and Dominic Toretto go across the border, they go into Mexico, and they get Braga. Braga? Braga. Yeah. So they actually capture him and bring him across. They, what the plan is, is to bring him across the United States, into the United States territory, and uh, have him stand trial for all of his, you know, all of his uh, drug dealings, right? So, they go in, they, of course, they, they get him, they start to head out, well, they find out that he's been, that Brog has been kidnapped, and they call the cavalry out on everybody, out on him, and everybody starts chasing Dom and Brian across the desert. <clears throat> and into the tunnel, which they had done the tunnel race earlier, where they lost, of course, both the blue R34 and Toretto Chevelle. <clears throat> so they're running across the desert, and they get into the tunnel, and you, I think it's called the tunnel scene, tunnel chase, I guess it's called. So there's a whole lot of chaos going on in there. Uh, F-Bomb being one of them. Um, goes out to Toretto and the Charger. And unfortunately the Charger actually meets its demise inside the tunnel. Um, as Dominic just uh, kind of rips the door off it and jumps into, the, jumps into this car. Knocks the guy out. And drives this one. Um, to what appears to be, you know, the tunnel's caving in on him, and next thing you know, boom, he comes out of the tunnel, and, uh, right into Phoenix. Phoenix was his rival, because Phoenix was actually, uh, come to find out, Phoenix is who had killed Letty. So, Dominic Toretto was going to kill him anyway, um after busting through all the dust and dirt of the tunnel F-bomb comes across the screen and whammo smacko uh, right into Phoenix Phoenix dies the cops come and Toretto is taken off to prison and this is the only <coughs> excuse me the only time we see the F-bomb it's sad because I'd like to see this car in more movies, but and it's very little. It's it's short-lived, and as short-lived as it is, it's really had a strong following on some of the car memes. Um, it's it's unbelievable. It's become one of the most popular cars for the Fast and Furious franchise. And they call it Dominic Toretto's. F-bomb Camaro, but it's not really Dominic Toretto's F-bomb. Come on. He took it from a guy in the tunnel, okay? It's not his. He didn't build it. It's not his. Get over yourselves. But anyway. So originally there was another Camaro in the workshop that I tried to do this with. Uh, I so tried to make the graphics and everything else for it and I failed epically. Um, luckily Fully Sick was able to put this together and it, it looks awesome. I mean there's a whole lot of parts, a whole lot of pieces. Just looks awesome. Alright so for the front wheels um, it's a 235-235-17? Two thirty-five seventeen. Okay, well, 
Um, the wheel I think I'm going to go with is this uh, five spoker right here. So two of those and a 17. And those of course will be, I needed a flat five spoker though. I don't think I've got one. Hmm. I have to look. I know I'm wasting my money on painting parts here, but zero, not finish, paint part. I really thought maybe there was another wheel, but I don't. Oh, you know what? I wanted these wheels. Yeah, these are the two I wanted. All right. So I'm a big dope. Yeah, these are the wheels I wanted. This will be a whole lot better. So those were 235s. 35s, 235.50s. Wow. And this is more of a sport tire on the front of it, so we're going to go with a uh, sport tire, two 17s, 235, 235.50s. No. Don't want those, I want those. There we go. Now I know these aren't gonna look like this is the closest thing I got, I think. Alright, uh let's do some shopping. Let's do some shopping. Brakes. No, it's gonna be more than just this, these two pieces, I am sure. And do some shock absorbers action here. Bum, bum, bum. Nope, I don't think I need one of those, but I may. Uh, front link B, link B, bearings, couple wheel hubs, 12 rubber bushings, and a partridge in a pear tree. No, it's not Christmas. Get off of here. Got our tires all set up. Um, yeah, it looks that that looks awful, you know, mean over there. A little aggressive with those wheels on it. All right, let's see what we have here. Um, horrible. <coughs> oh, it's a little dry tonight. All right, so let's go to suspension. Suspension. Um, that's not what I wanted to do. Ooh, yeah. I could have used one of them. I'm needing a whole lot of pieces. Man, both the upper steering, upper suspensions. 
A sea knuckle. Wow. All right. Um, needed a sea knuckle. Prince Louis Bar B. Hub. Uh, he was the upper suspension arm. I need two of those. I believe that was it, right? All right. I am. Oh, got a little trigger f happy on that. All right, I think we are good. That uh, small intercooler got that. Uh, the intercoolers got uh, repaired. That's pretty cool. Steering racks. Steering racks usually get trashed. I'm surprised that one didn't. Ah. As much as I have a problem with the mouse, I just can't. Uh, I can't imagine for the console. But you guys have fun with it. It's supposed to come out June 25th. So. Best of luck to you. I will not be getting it on console. I am a PC guy all the way through. Oof, that is so bright. That's the graphics on the side of the car. I'm not sure why that does that. Um, I've seen a few cars do that. Cap. Liking it. Well, that's about as close as I think I'm going to get it. But <laughs> uh, it's actually a lot closer than some of the other cars I've built up. Be honest with you. Uh, I always enjoy building Floyd Six cars because it's always a, it's just the whole breakdown of these things sometimes there's so many parts to them um, just just love it oh did I leave a shock absorber on the tray over there yes I did jeez ain't no wonder I'm going insane There we go. Everything's good now. Now, do I have an engine already built over on the stand? You can see it down there, just just bad, just over there. Um, I do have an engine built for it, uh, just for the ease of the video. Uh, typical engine, all of the performance parts you can cram into the supercharged V8. And this thing deserves all the parts it can get because it does a wheelie. It kills Phoenix. Crushes him against the car. Runs him over. Um, what am I missing? Oh, there we go. Ooh, major part there. And I'm missing it. I think that should be it. Get the wheel on here. What do I have in my inventory? Yeah, we can trash that stuff. Um, I think that's the front end and the front bumper for it. I'm not entirely sure. I'm gonna have to place it and find out. <clears throat> Alright, again we have to take care of all this stuff on the inside. Battery check. Thank you. Still doesn't look flat enough, though. 
Like I told everyone in the last video, I repainted that to a flat dark gray. It doesn't look like it's that flat. Um, oh, radiator day did not get fixed. And I don't know what piece goes with it, so I guess it's going to be a surprise. Oh, I should have picked up the ABS pump module while I was in there. That's okay. Oh, no fans for this? I'm actually kind of shocked there's no fans. Wow. We may have to take care of that later. Don't tell him. Um. Yeah, because, you know. These V8 blocks get hot. I can attest to that. They get hot. Um. I think that's all I need there. Okay, so. Um, let's strip everything off of here. See what I can build. See, the whole thing comes apart. <laughs> um. Little front bumper and things. Uh. I think the rear bumper is fine, but, um, nope, I didn't want to go over there. We are going to go ahead and take care of all this. You know, and there's not much interior to this. I don't even know what, what it's doing, but I'm sure if I don't do it, it will come up with something really strange. Oof. Um, yeah, the Camaro, the the tires are kind of cutting into the uh, Camaro's wheels. That's all right. Still looks cool. All right, looks like most things got fixed. <sighs> what happened here? Ooh, look at that color. Woohoo! And I'm going with the split bumper on this because I believe it is a split bumper. It's not a full bumper. Um. Nope. I am totally wrong. It is a full bumper. I just happened to peek over and look, and I am wrong. I am totally wrong. So let's go back to a full paintable bumper. That's chrome. Where is. What I took off there was uh, fully sexy. Oh, wait a minute. That's not right. I think we have an issue here. Um, bumper doesn't exist. Maybe it doesn't exist. Yeah, because it should be right here. Um, give me a couple minutes. Let me uh, fix this real quick. I'll be right back. There we go. Yeah, we had to fix it. They had to fix a profile in there. Um, yeah, not liking that front end at all. Um, need a different front end. Mm-hmm. 
front end C is what I had. Um, just go with the regular front end on the Camaro. Let's see what this looks like. Install that or get that out of the way. That's not the one I wanted. Oh, it's got the stripes on it. Yeah, I don't want that one. Ah, so hard to tell. I'm spending all this money on stupidness. Um, I think it's that one. Okay. It's rather exposed. Ah, I keep this is why I delete stuff out of my Nope, nope. It's this one. So we got that. We'll put the front end. No, I didn't want that either. Oh, I am doing so horribly. Um, there we go. We want that front end on there. Um, let's see, we need headlights. Um, I think those are for those headlights, up, for those cars up there. Um, Gonna go with regular headlights on these. Um, with the uh, regular mirrors, I believe. These are going to go with the regular taillights because I am going to buy this piece right there. Oh. That looks kind of silly on the front of it, doesn't it? I need a I need a paintable set. All right, let's go back to the headlights. What are my options? Um, let's go with those. They don't look as crazy. Yeah, there we go. That works out. No, not that one. No, not that one. Starting to get excited. I'm getting this stuff done. All right, uh, tail lights. Need a trunk and a couple of doors. Oh my gosh, I need doors. Just regular doors. I just. I don't need that. And I need a trunk. Just a regular trunk. Man, this, like I said, this has got a lot of missing pieces to it. Actually, I don't think it has a mirror on the left side, but uh, that's all right. Um, um, the windows, I believe. And I'm thinking it might be about it. But, uh, oh, I need a front window and I need an interior 
<clears throat> I think just a regular front window will be fine. Um. Yeah, uh, let's get some interior pieces here and find out what else we need. Um, that one. That one looks like that's pretty close to what's on the real car, I think, to be honest with you. Oh, I need two of those puppies. All right, so I need another one of those. That's kind of surprising. I thought I only had one in there. Actually, you know what? I need, I need just a solid black ones. That's what I need. Go with the solid black ones. Keep hitting the wrong button. All right, let's see what we have here. Ah, global parties. Oh, I don't have the engine it yet. Um, left trunk tail light. It's that silly piece back here. Good grief. All right, let's move you over to there. Let's take you off the stand. Let's put you in the car. Let's, uh, yep, it's starting to, I think it has to do with heating up my PC or something. A lot of talk about uh, this game overheating a PC. Alright, I believe I don't need anything else in there, so I'm going to throw that cover back on. I'm going to put you in the air. Bomb Camaro is almost complete. Oh, I need, I need some pieces. I need some pieces and parts. Um, yeah, need that. I'm gonna need a starter. Wow. Yeah, I don't think I have a starter, do I? This is a painful. Painful journey, hasn't it? Alright, we got that set up. Got a starter in. Um, I think I had a drive shaft. Yes, I do. So everything underneath here should be golden. I gotta get the exhaust system going here. And we got uh, front exhaust front exhaust pipe C's, huh? Okay, so front exhaust pipe. C's need two of those. Let's hop over to the performance shop and grab a couple middle mufflers and the rear mufflers. And I know there's going to be stuff I am missing. Everything underneath should be good to go. Where are we at? 100%, 87% on the body. So, I know we don't have any license plates on it. And I'm looking for a trunk left taillight. So, it's this piece back here. Um, I hate putting them on, to be honest with you. 
It's these silly outlines right here. And I guess I'll just go with that one. I mean, that's what it is. It's just an outline. And I don't have a black one. If I had just a black one, I would Daryl Chrome. So that kind of, that kind of bites. So I think I've got all the pieces together, um, except for the license plates, of course. But I'm not going to put plates on these puppies. Let's send you over to the paint shop. Oof! Just got smacked in the face by the door. And set current and paint card. And now I want to see what you can do over in a dino. Right. Yep, 1385. It's pretty much the norm. Wanted to make sure everything worked though. Alright. You belong over into stall 3. Uh, the F bomb didn't have any plates, so I'll probably stick a few, couple sets of plates on it anyway. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. We're just gonna go with. Um, where's. I like most of them, California plates. It's going to be F dash B O M B. How's that? Two of those, $1,700. Okay. I'm not putting it on the, not putting it on the front. All right. So did our price increase? Just barely. We're at 95% on our body and it's only because of the front license plate. I don't really care. Um, I'll take care of that later. So there you have it. Nice F-bomb Z28 Camaro. Hope you enjoyed the episode as much as I did. We did have to do a little fix in the car config file. It was actually the parts config file. Because um, the front bumper wasn't listed. But now we got that all fixed up. We're good to go. Hope you enjoyed it. Hit the subscribe button if you want to watch more. We're going to go from here. And we're going to take a tour of the three cars that take out the bus that takes out. That's taken Dominic Toretto to jail. So stay tuned. We're going to get to those. This is Hearst Quasar. And I am out.